Hello friends, this is the third video in this segment of Linux commands and I feel that uh, the major challenge that I faced during the Linux operation was the changing the file and folder to give permissions on Ubuntu which includes the chmod chung command in Linux. In last video I mentioned the terminal opening command but uh, that was not like that. It is Control Alt T like this I press and then the terminal is opened. Then uh, there is one command called stat command that is for the to view the permission in the octal notation. I will let you know the uh, and show you all the permissions by using stat command and then again we first we're using the chmod command for the read and execute. There are three kind of permissions are there. First is read and read only then there is write and third is execute permission three type of permissions are given in the ubuntu so we'll be using uh, these commands to show the uh, permissions there so let's go to the terminal here we first check the where we are now just go to the videos folder and check out the listing yes there is a folder vishal and we will be just uh, operating on door that folder stat vishal it shows us the file name, size, and all the other accessible things, and shows the access 775 read write and execu execution is there. Like when I go to the Vishal txt, and uh, I write Vishal is a good one and some good knowledge of Ubuntu is also within okay so I save this it is being saved easily so it means 775 is working it means all the redirect execution permissions are there now we just check out the we just change the command we just change the permissions from execute to read and write only so write the chmod or you can check out like man chmod command you can read all the things and manuals regarding the chmod command are given here man and help are the both uh, two things which you can use for to know the commands so we will be chmod and we give the command like 644 644 and write vishal and then we use the stat command stat vishal to check out the permission. Now the permission has changed to 644 and I can show this to you like this. Now if I go to the folder Vishal and try to access this, this cannot be, this is, this can't be, this is not accessible because the folder has been changed here. Okay. So again if we change the permission chmod 775 or we can give the 777 to give the recursive permission that to the folders and the file inside those folders will also be given the executable permission we can use 775 to give them executable permission 775 we shall like this now you can see this we can uh, open this file yes the file can be opened and any operation can be performed in this file so i guess this chmod file is clear to you and uh, then we use the use something like this chmod recursive function r to give the permission to the file inside those folders where well, like vishal is a folder there is another folder in that and file is residing in that folder so we can you change the recursive means all the permission in the those folders or inside the files in that folder will be changed recursively. So we'll go to the another command like ch chown command owner name. So before doing this I'll show you the stat this will show you the true owner of the files. Now I just go here and shift insert and right here we shall and you will see the owner Saraswati is the owner here 
and uh, I will change the owner here like CHOWN and the owner name is now let me say root and then we shall no this changing is not permitted yes because sudo is not being used here sudo is for super users we shall password is okay now we can again use the stat command to check out the yes we have changed from city to root okay then we again use sudo chown and uh, then the root the session I'm using in Saraswati like this. This is the accounting Saraswati and Vishal like this. And then we again check out this stack. Yes, so this is again changed to the name Saraswati. So, friends, this is all about changing the permissions in these files and folders. You can uh, check out these uh, things like this. There are three kind of permissions read only, read write, and execution permissions here they are octal numbers they are formed by octal numbers like the file owner permissions giving seven read write operations giving six and the read only operation for five this is how we make this name number six four four seven five five this is the octal numbers and this is how things are being made inside this so thank you